Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to the Legendary Ladies where today, um, I've just looked and my god, this is actually quite a tiny little prison, isn't it? It's, it's really not all that spectacular. Uh, but look, it's giving us enough hassle as it is. So I suppose I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't say too much. Um, let's go ahead and get some things done today. Let's have a look and, and see where we're at. We've got, uh, some dog handlers that need to be assigned to, pat uh, to patrols to get the governmental security rating complete. Uh, we've got uh, a fair few people that have misbehaved themselves. They're all in lockdown and all that sort of stuff. So, mm, not the best. Not the best. Let's see if we can figure out why these people are misbehaving. Clothing? Uh-huh. No. Chapel, what are you upset about? Drunk. Well, I mean, I can't help you with that. You're just going to have to sleep it off. Um, recreation, privacy, I mean, but most of these people are fulfilling their needs fairly well. This one, Fairburn, needs freedom. But, uh, another death, great. Freedom and clothing, okay. How is this laundry... Oh. Tell you what. First, first matter, of course. Let's get this bad boy hooked up. And we'll see if we can at least get some fresh clothing out for these ladies. Because they probably need it. Um, they probably would quite appreciate a, uh, a change of clothes. How are you drunk as well? All right, I got to get these dogs sorted out a little bit better. We've got one who's patrolling back and forth in here, and that's good. I'm happy to see that. I think we should get another one. Have we got enough cash? We do. Let's get one more doggy do. Uh, so we've got one here. Should we have one, I think, in between the canteen and the common room? We'll have one there as well, and we'll hire one more pupper. Uh-oh, I've got this mod active again. Wait one. Okay, we don't need that mod. That one's called Total Chaos, and uh, I use it when I'm doing my test prison to uh, <clears throat> cause total chaos and basically incite riots and uh, prison-wide escape attempts and that sort of thing. It can be very fun to play with when you're trying to uh, verify if your prison is, in fact, going to be uh, horribly dangerous enough. What do you mean? Oh, is it too small? And that's failing a table. Okay, all right. Well, we can fit a table in there. That's fine. Uh, just like that. There we go. That should do the trick. And this one, five by five. Taint much I can do about that, honestly. Or is there? We might be able to extend it one notch north. So let's go, hang on, kennel. Um, yeah, okay. Let's do that. Here we go. Let's, let's get this set up here. Let's demolish this wall here. Let's prioritize all of that there. And let's see what we can do about expanding this dog kennel so it stops flashing. I mean, it does the trick. Even without the, the room being the correct, si correct size, it still functions. But uh, it is best to not have any flashing things in my prison. I don't like that. I don't know about you guys, but it tends to drive me a little bit batty. It tends to make me a little bit upset. And uh, we don't want that. Astro, upset. Mm -mm, don't want. Do not want. Is this Fairburn again? Gordon Bennett. Ugh. She is just doing me a number. I tell you what, though. Um, in the comments uh, for the last... Um, for the last video... Uh, <laughs> uh, there was a comment in uh, the last video's um, comments down below where, uh, where Polsky Polak said um, you have to click on free fire so that they'll use their shotguns. And yeah, I know. But I'm not quite to that stage yet. When I need to be executing people, well, I'll, uh, I'll <clears throat> accidentally do that. But until it gets really bad, I'll try and keep them under control just with tasers and things. Leela Batty, getting some work done. There you go. You can get in there with chislet trim and mop her cell. That's nice. She needs some clothing desperately. Hopefully, she can figure out how to not get herself locked away. Maybe. Oh. London, how did you get unconscious? Is it because you're drunk or because you got smacked? I think she probably got smacked. And after she's been in lockdown for another hour and 33 minutes, she then has to go into solitary for six hours because uh, I'm assuming she's attacked a guard uh, or something to that effect. And what's... Uh, oh, hello. What's going on here? Truce is making a run for it. She is a, a very legendary prisoner. And she has been detained. She's 63. She's 63 and she's got, like, she's an expert fighter. Extremely deadly, extremely tough. You go, girl. 
All that Pilates is doing you well. Anyway, let's get some expansion underway, shall we? I feel like I need to uh, I need to dismantle this bad boy. And we'll see if we can move that over one notch. Um, and what we'll do is we'll, we'll have a corridor coming up this way where we can build another set of cells across the top there. Um, and I feel like, hmm... I mean, we've got the staff room set up here. Someone mentioned using the holding cell as a staff canteen, but we've already got a serving table here to give them food. So they're actually, they're doing pretty well at the moment. They're doing pretty well. All right. So let's see. We got our, uh, we got our extra dog there. So that managed to get that final grant out of the way. What else do we have that we can attack? We can get Maxec, which is body armor, tasers, CCTV. Yeah, we can do that. That's a good little earner. Prison acclimatization and engagement. Laundry, kitchen, cleaning cupboard. We can do that. And oh, we've only got two at the moment. We'll have to research up. Uh, we'll get we'll get Gladys here to get an extra grant underway for us. She could probably also get offshore tax haven, but we'll leave that for the time being. Warden, can you have a look at micromanagement for me? And uh, we'll get the security chief to do surveillance because we're going to need that. Um, and... Once he's done that, we'll get body armor. I'm not going to do the taser rollout just yet because it is a little bit expensive. Uh, but that is something that I think we're probably going to need before too long. So here we go. This water boiler is ready to replace. So we can now pop that there. And we can do some rerouting of large pipes around that and do some rerouting of hot water pipes to connect to there. That should be good. And then we just need some power. So we just need to extend that one more notch that way. And theoretically, that should reconnect with this new boiler where it currently stands. And uh, that should take care of the hot water again for us. Once that's done, we can then go ahead. Oh, my God. Guys, is this... Are we doing this? Are we actually expanding? Well, I mean, someone's escaped. Straight out the front door. Which is... I'm starting to get jack of that. Um, someone has escaped, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's see what we can do about putting in another wing. Now, let's have a look at the security of our people. We've got some high sec people in here, right? And I think that high sec are probably going to be the uh, the best target for moving up into this new wing, right? And if we, I can hear, I can hear shenanigans here. It's bloody Hathaway again. Hang on a second. Let me just check something. Policy. Serious injury up. Murder goes to max. Um, should I increase? You know what? I'm I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set escape attempts up one notch. Right? It is gonna mean that anyone that tries to escape gets moved deeper and deeper into the prison. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Actually, hmm. No, you know what? No, I've just realized, then we're going to wind up with people that are getting pushed all the way up to Supermax. And I think that's probably a dangerous thing. Oh, we're going to have to move this water boiler as well. Uh, and yeah, if people get pushed up into Supermax, they're going to get uh, they're going to get shifted up into here because this will be the max sec. And then because they go past max sec into Supermax, they'll have to come back down into the shared sec, which is not what we want. It's definitely not what we want. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we can do about making a new wing that's going to be a little bit more secure. And this one's going to be sealed only on one end, right? So it's going to increase the uh, the distance that these ladies have to escape from. We have had another death, which is not great. Ooh, let's see. Have we got a lawyer yet? No, we don't. We can afford one, and we can look towards getting small cells underway. Ooh, can we? It'll be a bit of a stretch. It'll be a little bit of a stretch to try and uh, try and get one in. All right, let's let's move on the pro on the on the assumption that we're not going to be able to afford a sword afford uh, to do small cells. So we're going to have to do one, two, three by two, right? We'll do them this way, and we'll have a little a little gap there, and then like this, and we'll keep going down like this. And we'll just have a lovely row of cells that come down all the way along here. And I wonder, if we do it like this, should we seal off that left-hand corridor to make this even more maze-like? I kind of get the feeling that that would be a good idea. 
Or have like an airlock there where there's like a super armed guard with a shotgun there at all times. Just being like, where do you think you're going, love? No escape for you. Ooh, that's a bit creepy, isn't it? One, two, three. Okay, cool. So how's this for a block? What do you reckon? I reckon that looks pretty good, right? And then we can mirror it on this side. I won't bother doing the whole thing because I just wanted to make sure that was going to go far enough. So what's that going to give us? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. That should be quite nice. Very nice, as a matter of fact. Um, we could even fit another row of them on top. And you know what I think we're going to. And then that way, we can have... This sealed? No. No, here's what we're going to do. We'll leave a little nubbin here, right, for the boiler. It can have its own little outdoor, you know, blob like this. So that it can vent its heat out into the outside world. And then in this section here, we're going to have uh, the kitchen tucked into the corner. Should it have its own kitchen? Do you know what? I reckon it's probably time that we employed the same tactic we did last time where we have a nice big long kitchen like this, right? With a door here. And this long kitchen can service both the canteen that's gonna be up here, right? Canteen, or maybe it'll need to be a little bit bigger, but it'll be a combo canteen common room up the top here. And then this section down the bottom here will rip this kitchen out and then sort of uh, finagle this around a little bit. Cause I think these ladies at the bottom here could probably use a common room. Because at the moment, the, the family cells don't have one, uh, which is pretty unfortunate. Pretty unfortunate. I think they'd be a bit miffed about that. And then again, a little yard out the back for the uh, maximum security girls. And that should do the trick. I reckon that'd be, uh, that'd be pretty, uh, pretty boss. Pretty boss. Oh, we're going to need some, uh, some uh, doobly-doos, some flippin' whatamahoosits, some uh, solitary cells. Where can we put the two escapes today and three deaths? Cheapers creepers. All right. Uh, so if we're going to do that, then I reckon we could probably have a couple tucked in at the top here. No, can we do them? I don't want to do them really long like this, but I guess I can. Three, four, five, six, six. Is six going to be enough? And does that line up? It does line up. So there's going to be 30, like, there's going to be like 40 cells up there, of which we're dedicating six. Um, I don't think that's going to be sufficient. So let's go uh, eight, nine. Nine solitary cells, four max sec, and then however many cells that works out to be. I'm not sure. Um, it Maths is not my strong suit, but, um, you know, if I figure it out, I'll let you know. Um, I, I'll, I'll see you next week. Right. Foundations. Let's get this bad boy set up like this and then like this. Oh, look, look how beautiful this is. Oh, damn. Gorgeous. And has just chewed through most of our cash, but it's totally fine. And then we'll whack in a regular old door just on this side of things, right? We haven't cut any holes through into the secure area of the prison just yet, so... This should be fine. This should let us take care of business. Mmm, good. I'm happy with this. This is going to be good. This is going to be tasty. This is going to allow us to expand and tackle a few more prisons. I mean, we've got only two coming in at the moment, which seems interesting to me. Right? Filter 21. And yet I seem to remember seeing a whole bunch of them. Oh my giddy art. Look at how many reds there are now. All right, we're going to have to get these girls sorted out. Uh, right, let's put that water boiler back in. Where did that go? Where should we put that? Here? Here. That should be fine. We'll hook him up like this. That should be fine. We've got a few kinks in the uh, the old water boiler situation here, but that's fine. Um, and then we can do like this, right? No, no, that's going to be a perimeter wall. So it has to go inside because you can't build anything through a perimeter wall. Because it's a perimeter wall. You don't want things going through that. You don't want people to be able to get out via a poo pipe. You know, like that film with the one where someone crawled through a poo pipe. You know the one I'm talking about. So here we go. These ladies are doing all right. These girls are, are behaving themselves. Babbies are doing their things. You can't select the babby. 
which is a bit of a shame. I would like to see what the name of the baby is, but they just seem to be this inanimate object. Like, is it actually a baby? They don't ever seem to make any noise or anything. They don't ever seem to move. They just seem to sort of sit there making no noises and, and just sort of holding still. So, I mean, they say that they're babies. Um, I'm going to have to take them on their word at that. It, it kind of seems like maybe they're just like dummy, uh, like little dolls um, to keep these ladies sort of entertained throughout the day. Um, like a surrogate baby. Maybe that's the case. Maybe that's what's going on here. I mean, it'd be probably a little bit awful if that was the case. But, uh, you know, I mean, look, whatever you need, whatever works for you. Let's get solitary. Should we be... I think we're going to be really freaking nice in these solitaries. And we're going to put in the whole shebang. And we'll do the whole shebang in these ones as well. Give them a bed and a bed. We'll give them a uh, shower head. Good. And one there and one there. Excellent. We'll put a light directly above the bed for each of these cells. There were lights in there before, but they're all buggered. Uh, and in fact, I might go through and just dismantle all of those before I carry on too much farther. Um, what else can we put into these cells to keep these ladies under control? I reckon uh, Unradio. You can get stuff. These guys don't get one. Oh, well, obviously a drain underneath the shower toilet combo. And... Uh, yeah, like a prayer mat. Prayer mat's probably a good way to go. It is a good way to, to help them satisfy their, um, uh, whoosly, what's it? Their spirituality needs. So we can just put them straight in like that. I'll tell you what, they can have one too, because they keep getting put into solitary. We may as well look after them. We may as well make sure that they've got the bits that they need. We've had another escape. Mate, this is starting to get really, really dangerous. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to fare through this place, quite frankly. Let's get this extended down like this, uh, and we'll strip it all the way out to the yard. Same goes with this one, all the way out to this water heater, and straight through here, and all the way down to here. Beautiful. Excellent. Excellent. All right, and we'll let you guys out again. Spiffy. So that should take care of what is required for these here cells. Um... Let's go ahead and double check what else is going to be required <clears throat> in this episode. So we've got a few new cells coming online. What we're going to do is I'll tell you what, before we go too much further, um, because this is kind of, you know, totally open to the world. Um, what's the deployment on this at the moment? No, uh, no. Uh, oh, no access. All right, we'll need a door in there. That's all right, because I just ordered one to be dismantled. So when this guy finishes up, uh, we'll take that door and we'll pop it, I guess, out into this corridor. That should be fine. What are you doing, Captain Cisco? Off you go, mate. Go and uh, deal with the Romulans uh, with the uh, assistance of the Klingons. But God damn. Deep Space Nine was such a good series. I would really like to... I, I think I'll watch it again soon. Um, I do have to fly to Sydney tomorrow, so maybe I'll take a couple of episodes to, to watch while I'm... Well... I'm only flying up for the day, um, which is, it's nice, like it's fun flying up for the day because you just sort of, you know, you don't have to worry about doing the hotel thing and all that sort of stuff. You just sort of nip in and nip out and away you go. Um, the drama, of course, is that, uh, well, you know, you have to, like I'm on the 6.30 a.m. flight and then I'm coming back at like, 7.30 p.m. So by the time I get back, it'll be like, I don't know. By the time I walk in the door, it'll probably be 10.30. Um, which is not great. It's it's not pleasant, I have to say. Um, it is it is generally... Actually, hang on. Objects. Dismantle. It is generally pretty unpleasant. But, you know, I was trying to remind myself, whenever I fly somewhere for work, and I'm like, it's really, you know, I have to fly and I have to like go to the airport. Mm. Um, I have to remind myself that I'm flying. I'm getting into a giant metal tube, which uh, which then has these, you know, two like spinning things that burn fossilized. Where are they escaping? At the front door. Dang it. Um, yeah, there's two things that burn like old fossilized forests. Because that's like, you know, when people say that um, um, 
petrol is made from dinosaurs. That's not quite true. Um, not quite true. They're actually, um, they're actually made, it's, it's, it's kind of like when you get peat. Have you ever heard of peat? Like, if you're from Scotland, uh, drop in the comments and tell me how much you love peat. <laughs> um, peat is just like, oh my god, this is getting really bad, guys. Oh, and we've got another, oh dear, wait on. Oh dear, we've got Chloe Robinson here. I wasn't paying attention. Chloe has turned up and requires... A family cell. So let's get her set up here. Um, and we'll prioritize that. Because we don't want her to be waiting outside. And we're going to need... I'll tell you what. This needs to be dismantled. And then let's relocate it down to there. To just seal off this bottom section as the family wing. You boys can get through there. Off you try. Um, eh. Anyway. Fossils. Um... And, and stuff. I don't know where I was going with that story. Anyway, yeah, no, I do. Getting in a plane is fairly miraculous, right? It's not exactly something that you should be like, yeah, I'm in a plane. Dude, you're flying through the air at like close to a thousand miles an hour or whatever the case may be. That, it's a thousand kilometers an hour. I don't know. I don't know how fast commercial airlines go. I've never paid that much attention. I always look at it like, you know, when you go on an international flight and they've got that little screen set up where you can see like, the altitude and like what heading you're on and all that sort of stuff. I always just find that so fascinating. Um, when I had to go to Brussels recently, I just couldn't stop staring at it the whole way through. It was delightful. Um, yeah. What am I talking? What, what on earth am I talking about? This is a standard Lego talk that I'm getting on with here. Just blathering away about nothing. Um, right. I'll tell you what we need. We need to get this one underway. I'm just sort of scanning across all the things that I need to do at the same time. Right, so we've got that one taken care of. This is insecure. That's fine. I'm happy with that being insecure. And these doors, I can probably just set them to lock open for the time. Whoops. And this one, lock open. And no, that should be locking open, please. Okay, great. I've had another death. I think we should probably slow down again. Uh, right. So now that we've cleared that one off, let's go ahead and get the next grant, which is cell block B, which is to get to 50. And we should be able to do this with uh, with these cells coming online up the top here, right? It's given us a cash advance to be able to do it. And then if we start cloning these cells out right, we should be able to get, why are there lights going in here? Oh, for Pete's sake, could you not put those there? Put the lights above the bed for a reason. Thank you. Yeah, Burks. You can't put a light on top of a wall. I mean, what is that? Are these not walls that go all the way to the ceiling? Are they like some crazy fantastical, you know, partitions or something? Is this like my office building? Not that I have a... I don't actually have an office building. I work from home. It's pretty awesome. Uh, if you can work from home, it's really good. Except for the fact that, you know, sometimes it does get a little lonely, I have to say. It does get a little... Ooh, oh, excuse me, ladies. Goodness me. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Um, it does get a little lonely sometimes. Because, you know, you're stuck at home and all you got is a dog. In my case, you know, you may have a cat. Uh, or a little brother or sister or something to that effect. I got a dog. He keeps me company. He's snoring behind me. On the floor, just just snoring away. He had a lovely meal this evening, and he's just tuck it out. Um, right, cell block B, get to fifty, and then feed all prisoners. Well, I mean, we could do that. We could, but will we? Mm, we'll 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 see. We'll see, ladies. We'll see how I feel. We'll see how benevolent old Warden Astro feels this morning. Um. All right, cool. Let's get that taken care of. We're down to 33 grand. We should be able to slot these in as well, right? Like this. Now, what I'm hoping is because this area is uh, is fairly well removed from the rest of the prison, we should. Yeah, hello. We've got a we've got a prisoner in here already. All right, we need to rather rapidly get these set out, and then so these ones will come back from. Have I... Oh, for Pete's sake. I've done them the wrong length, haven't I? All these solitary cells are way too big. 
Oh, well. Super, lux super luxury solitary cells. That's what we got. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. In fact, what I could probably do... It's too late now, but what I could probably do is be have another, like, a maximum security family wing across the top. But I feel like the family wing is probably going to need to be completely separate. Um, but that'll have to... That'll have to wait. All right. So that's taken care of there. This door can be secured now. Power has been exceeded. I probably should have been paying some more attention to that, but I was not. We are just licking the edge of our cash reserves, um, which is uh, which is pretty scary, I have to say. But we are in the black. We've got thirteen hundred bucks a day coming in. That's not been fixed yet. Okay, great. Come on, guys, bring my capacitors for me, uh, and then we're gonna get. Um, let's get this wall patched up here. And then let's get a large jail door. Should we have one here? Or should we do it over the back here? I feel like we should do this here. And that way, we're creating two... Like, this whole back section is open. And then you have to get out through these two doors. And then these two doors. And then these three doors at the front. To get out to the outside world. Alright. Switch on. Power engaged. Okay, good. We are going to probably lose it again when all those... Nah, it should be okay. I was going to say, when all those lights come online, we might lose it again. We've just hit cell block B, so that's been taken care of. Uh, and now we can go ahead. Here we go. Deployments. This bad boy section up here, or should I say bad girl section, maximum security. These ones, I'll leave this as shared for now until we actually have separate zones where we can, like, make this one normal sec. Um, I mean, ideally, this will eventually be minimum security. And then this can be medium security. And then we'll just move the maximum security up one more notch. Yeah? I reckon that'll be good. I reckon that'll do us good. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so next time, we need to get those CCTV cameras taken care of. Um, and a couple of monitors as well. We can hopefully stop the rest of these deaths. We need to... We'll do the wall while we're here. We'll get a little perimeter wall. Just cheekily slapped in like this. And then we'll get some uh, large doors that can go like that. We'll just have one. They only need one. Uh, now nah, we'll put in a second one. Why not? Why not? I'm feeling generous today, girls. And then we could probably... You know, we could probably even have another section. Like, just build another row on top of this for places for these girls to work. Because they're probably going to need a laundry of their own, right? If I'm going to make this medium security only, then the MaxSec girls are going to need their own infrastructure up the top here. Yeah. All right. So next episode, we need to get a big canteen, a big kitchen, sorry, set up so that it can service the whole prison. Uh, we need to get a big old canteen set up plus, you know, canteen and other sundry items for maximum security. And uh, yeah, rearrange this section in here a little bit to make it a little bit more pleasant. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. All right, friends. Well, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the episode today. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Sub if you loved it. And share it around on whatever social media you feel like sharing it on. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. See you guys.